So in this video, I'll try to explain what you're looking at when you open up Revit for the first time. I'll briefly describe the different tool palettes in Revit and then walk through the basics of navigating in a project. Unlike Revit, if you were to create a construction document set in AutoCAD, you would essentially draw it one sheet at a time. In Revit, however, you first create a 3D model of the building. Once you've created this central model, you can begin taking snapshots of it, which serve as basic backgrounds that you draft over and add notes to. These snapshots are called views, and they update as you update your model, ensuring that all your drawings stay coordinated. So this animation will just try to illustrate the concept of cutting a section through the model to create a background for a section drawing. So by creating a section, it's sort of like slicing the model and then placing a camera to view that slice. Once a view is created, you can crop it to the region that you need. Then you can start drafting in the detail over the model. All the drafting then is just 2D. So you can think of it kind of as placing a piece of trace paper over the top of your view. You can add line work, hatches, and even mask over areas of the model that you don't want to see. You can also add detail components, which you can kind of think of as 2D blocks similar to AutoCAD. Then I can add uh, annotation and callouts and noting. As I zoom out, again, the idea here is that a typical Revit drawing is essentially made up of a 3D background with drafting detail and annotation laid over the top of it. So when looking at a typical Revit window, you'll notice the ribbon towards the top of the screen. The ribbon is where the tools are located and they're organized by tabs. Just below the ribbon is the options bar. The options bar changes depending on the tool that you have selected. You should always check here first when looking for more tool options. To the left side of the screen is the browser window. And the browser window is the main window you go to because it contains all the views, legends, and schedules, and sheets. It even has all the component families uh, for the entire project. In the main drawing area is the view windows. By clicking on a, a view in the browser window, each view will open up in its new window. A view can be anything from a plan to a section to even a schedule or a 3D snapshot of the model. In the bottom left corner of every view window is a view control bar. This is where you change the viewing options, including the drawing scale, hiding and unhiding elements, and the detail amount and cropping. In the bottom left corner of the entire Revit window is a status bar. This is a dynamic dialog box that tells you what items you have selected as you hover over them and choose them. It also instructs you what to do next with a tool that you've chosen. In the bottom right corner of the screen is the filter tool. You should always look here when selecting objects because it tells you how many items you have selected at a time. The application menu in the top left corner of the screen is where you pull down to save, open and close files, print and export. And next to that is synchronized to central and you want to click this periodically to update the central model. So now if I go into an actual Revit window, you can see that I'm looking at a plan view of the model. And to better understand what I'm looking at, I'm going to open up a 3D view by first going to the project browser window at the left and clicking on 3D views. You can expand the categories in the browser window by clicking on the negative sign next to it, or on the positive sign next to it, and that expands to show all the, the views under that category. Double clicking on 3D opens up a new view in its own window. In this view, you can see the 3D model, and I can zoom in and out by rolling the uh, scrolling wheel. And if I hold down the shift key and push down on the scroll wheel at the same time, then I can move around the mouse to orbit through the model. If I minimize this window, you can see that the plan view window is still open and I can tie all these windows next to each other. And you notice that when I select different parts of the model, either in plan or in the 3D model, that the, the plan view is really just a section of the model cut a few feet above the floor line. You can create new views by placing section tags, callouts, and elevation tags. 
To place a section tag, for example, I want to go to the ribbon and click on the View tab, and then choose the Section tool. In the Plan view, I'll zoom in and click to place my section tag. And you can see in the browser window, a new section has been created. But clicking on the names of the views in the project window aren't the only way that you can bring them up. In Revit, when you place these tags in your drawing, you'll notice that they show up as blue on the screen. And this is telling you that they aren't just annotation, but that they're also acting as hyperlinks that are tied to the views that they're cutting. Double clicking on the tag brings up its own view in a new window. Also, you'll notice that in section views and in elevation views, that some of the level tags are also in blue. These are defining the different floors and levels of your building, and it's from these levels that your plan views will be cutting. By adding a new level tag to your drawing, you'll also be creating a new floor plan view.